As seen on making it, here is how I make faux bamboo. For the straight pieces, I used PVC pipe. For the curve around the mirror, I used EVA foam doweling. To help with adhesion, I use some 220 sandpaper and I scuff up the surface of the PVC. I like to sand through the entire printing so that it doesn't show through the paint, but for demonstration purposes, I'm not gonna go through that process. To create the nodes of the bamboo, my favorite epoxy clay is Easy Carve by Polygem. It's mixed one-to-one -one ratio and water is used as the release agent. If it ever gets sticky, just add more water. Continue mixing until you no longer see a separation of two colors and it's one even tone. Take off a small chunk and roll it in your fingers like you're trying to create a snake. Thin it out with your fingers. Where you like your node of your bamboo, wrap it around and connect it on the back. With your fingers, smooth out the edges in a sweeping motion out to the side, leaving a center ridge. Go all the way around. With a tool, carve a line into the center of your node all the way around. Now that it's dry, I'm going to use some sandpaper to sand down any ridges that are created between the clay running down into the pipe. We want to get rid of that ridge so that we have a seamless look. For the base of my bamboo, I will be using exterior house paint and flat. I like to use a straw color that is lighter in tone than what I want my end result to be. The glaze will darken the finish. Cover the entire surface and let dry. Now that it's dry, it's time to glaze. I will be using two shades of glaze. I like to use a pointed furniture glazing brush. To make a glaze, you get a clear glazing medium and add 25% of paint in the pigment or tone that you like. And then you simply just brush back and forth, leaving the little lines and strays that create a natural texture.
Once your glaze is dry, use an acrylic paint. I'm using raw umber here. It might be actually a little too dark, but it'll show up for video purposes. Use a liner brush and fill in the seam on your node to highlight the detail. Once all of the detail painting is finished, I let it dry and then I spray a layer of UV exterior clear coat over the entire project. I hope this encourages you to make some faux bamboo.